Welcome back to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. This week we're talking about summer safety. It's going to be bicycles, motorcycles, water safety, and of course fire safety. And with the 4th of July coming up right around the corner, we're going to talk with the Nampa Fire Department. And this is Melissa Close. Tell us a little bit more about some fire safety tips. Melissa, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Well, yeah, 4th of July is right around the corner, and 4th of July means fireworks. Now, the safest way to watch fireworks mm -hmm. is go to a public display with trained professionals. That's the safest way to enjoy it. Thousands of people are injured by fireworks every year. Uh, most of those are burn injuries to the hands, eyes, face, head. So we really want to leave that to the trained professionals. A lot of the, children, a lot of the people that are injured mm -hmm. by fireworks are children under the age of 15. Yeah. So if you are going to use fireworks, you use extreme caution. Now what are some of the tips that we can use, say, you know, having extinguishers around and things like that? You need to have extinguishers, water handy. Check your local laws. Mm -hmm. um, check the legality of your fireworks. Um, obey those laws. If fireworks um, aren't available here in the county, then don't go out of county and bring them in, right? Exactly. There's a reason for it. Only non-aerial fireworks are legal in the state of Idaho, and those are the ones that don't travel outside of a 15-foot radius, okay. either up or outside. They don't, they don't send burning embers. They don't shoot outside of a 20-foot radius. And then there was an interesting point about duds. Don't try to relight duds. Leave them alone, wet them down, put them in a pail of water, leave them alone. Don't try to relight them. Because people tend to walk over and start shaking it, and then all of a sudden it decides to go off, right? They're very dangerous. All right, well, let's talk about barbecues, because everyone's going to be doing that this summer. You got some tips for us on that? Everybody enjoys barbecues. There's right. nothing better than barbecues for the summer. Um, barbecues are great. Just make sure you have your barbecue or, char barbecue or charcoal lighter away from your home, a good distance away from your house, eaves, overhangs, anything flammable. Um, make sure that you don't use lighter fluid, gasoline, to try to light your barbecues. Keep children and dogs away from the barbecues. Three feet is a good distance. And make sure when you're done with your charcoal, mm -hmm. make sure that they're good and cool before you dispose of them and that you dispose of them in a metal container, not something that's flammable. We do have a lot of house fires every year where the barbecue is caught on fire or the charcoal that was disposed improperly catches the adjacent house on fire. Wow. And we don't want to ever have that happen. No. And then just real quick, we've got a couple of tips for um, campfire safety as well. Everybody enjoys a campfire, love camping. Uh, make sure you check your fire conditions before you go out. Um, obviously, we get really dry in the summer. We want to make sure we're not catching the forest on fire. We all right. love to enjoy. Um, make sure you use designated fire rings if they're available, away from flammable materials, grasses, brush, trees. Uh, make sure you have water and a shovel handy. Never leave that campfire unattended. Right. And make sure that if you do leave, you put it out with a lot of water. Make sure you stir it up. Make sure it's nice and cool before you leave. Those are some really great tips. And these tips are available at a website you guys have as well? Um, the NFPA puts out a lot of great information, a lot of great facts on um, fire safety. And you can contact them by email or you can visit their website at www. .nfpa.org. Great. Melissa, thanks so much Thank for joining you. us. Really appreciate the fire safety tips.